And when it comes to framing, co-creating, um, ultimately, what you're doing is aligning yourself with God's heart and purpose. Therefore, to do it, you can't do it in your own strength for your own purposes. You have to do it out of the heart of God, his intentions. So intimacy with the Father, knowing the Father's heart, intrinsically knowing it by sort of the sort of cardiogenosis, heart to heart infusion, or whether he gives you direction personally. Then once you know you're aligned to the Father's heart, you can then frame your life once you're in a position where it's incubated. So to start with, you brood over that which you want to bring into being, just like a, a hen would sit on the eggs before they hatch. So you've got to get to the point where what you're framing or aligning or calling into being around your life is the only choice for you. If you're double minded, it won't work it, because what you're doing is framing a reality where light responds to you and the enabling power of god within that light to form that reality which is collapsing a wave function or popping a quiff so that reality forms around your life only works when you're observing that reality as if it's already occurred it is that real to you that you can call it into being you can call things that be not as if they are just as god did now that means knowing his heart only doing what you see the father doing and then when you do it you speak with his voice what you say is not so much the words you say, but with the authority and the power you say it. And you say it like he says it, and light responds to you, like res light respond to him. So how do you do it? Well, depends entirely really on what you're framing. If you're framing um, the promises of God, because God has made certain promises that are uh, for us, um, and you're seeking first the kingdom, then you can expect those promises to be fulfilled. Therefore, you can frame your life around those promises. So you can frame your life around expectation, intention for calling forth the protection, provision, direction of God every day. So his provision for you to fulfill your destiny that day, to be who you are, that day so you can call that into being but you have to live from that expectation that you have more than enough for all your needs and an abundance for every good need and you can then also begin to frame or order or align your life according to what god has said and therefore when he said seek first the kingdom and all these things will be added to you then you call them to come to you so ultimately, around your life, you're creating an atmosphere that draws to you the reality of God's promises because you're living in rest. You cannot frame your life out of anxiety, worry or fear. It doesn't work. You have to be in rest. That means contentment, peace, joy. Therefore, an attitude of thanksgiving and gratitude. So if you're going to call something into being, you have to be thankful for that being. You have to be grateful for that being, even before you've actually received it, because you're living as if you have received it. And that is what framing does. It orders your life around something that you are believing for, whether that be a promise of God, whether that be the protection or provision of God in any way or any other promise that God has made, then you can order your life around that. When you're co-creating that is calling something that may be new or creating something which is beyond just creating a reality around your life. Again, you need very clear directions with that. You can't just, oh, I'm going to go and create 15 angels today, or I'm going to create 15 of anything or 10 of anything or anything. But you can, once you know that you have permission to do so, and as a son, you can actually then call things to come into being, into exist that do not exist. I have created some guardian angels because other guardian angels asked me to do it. The father gave me permission to do it. And I did it the same way. I, I brooded over that until I saw it as the heart of intention of God. And it was then my intention. I then spoke with the voice of God and I simply called for the existence of these number of guardian angels and they manifested. But there was no doubt. There was no 
double mindedness in my thinking, I knew what I was going to do was aligned to what God wanted me to do. And I had the authority to do it. So where do you start? Intimacy, rest, knowing the heart of the father. Jesus only did what he saw the father doing. Don't do do's and don'ts. Basically, don't operate out of fear, worry, anxiety, and don't do this to try and manipulate people to do what you want them to do. It has to be around your life and blessing others, not getting others to bless you or getting others to do things that you want. So you can't use this as a manipulation. I'm going to get this person to love me or I'm going to get this person to give me something. That is not the intention. You can call forth opportunities to bless people. You can call forth opportunities to meet people that you can be blessed. So there's lots of things you can do, but you can't use it for control or manipulation or anything negative. It has to be based in love, which wants the best for someone, the best for you. What to expect? Well, expect there to be process. Jesus said, when you pray, believe that you've received, then you'll receive. So you're framing, brooding, calling, living in that and uh, that living in the attitude of thanksgiving and gratitude and contentment and then it will begin to manifest some things can manifest instantly some things take time to come into being but don't cancel what you're doing by negative speech negative thinking if you have negative think oh why hasn't it happened yet did i do it right be positive stay at rest don't strive and do it out of intimacy with the father and let the father show you if there are particular things that he wants you to do and how he wants you to do it. But generally, you can definitely start with framing your life according to your destiny, your identity, who you are as a son of God and fulfillment of that identity and all you need in fulfilling it. So you can frame your life to have all that you need in terms of wisdom or insight or understanding or knowledge or truth. Resources. Anything that you need to do what God has called you to do, you can have that expectation that it will be available to you and you can live from that expectation. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.